Convergent Evolution, The Many Roads to Forked Tails, Lost Limbs, and Spiny Stems. Evolution gave rise to the many different kinds of organisms that we see today on Earth. But sometimes evolution can repeat itself and independently give rise to organisms that have similar characteristics. This is called convergent evolution. Organisms can look the same for two reasons. One is because organisms have characters passed down from a common ancestor, like these lizards. The other reason is that some organisms that aren't closely related, like this fish and whale, look similar because they live in similar environments. Here you see the fish swimming in the water. Notice how it uses its fins and tail to move through the water. Now you see the dolphin swimming. Its fins and tail look similar to the fish, but the dolphin is more closely related to us. Yep, it's a mammal. Here is a rubber boa. Snake's ancestors had legs but lost them during the course of evolution, probably to help them move through sand and thick grass. But this isn't a snake at all. In fact, it's a legless lizard that burrows in the sand, and that probably explains why it lost its legs. Here is a cactus from the deserts of Arizona. It has spines to conserve water and scare off herbivores. This plant is not a cactus. It is a candelabra tree. It also lives in a dry environment, but in Africa. It grows spines for similar reasons as the cactus. Can you think of any other examples of convergent evolution? No, your brother is not an example of convergent evolution with a chimpanzee. Their similarities are actually due to common ancestry. 